Hi Aries, welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Aries. Love tarot reading. Aries, love reading. And as is often the case at the Tarot Closet, Aries, love messages reading. Aries, I'm channeling for you in June 2023. We're just about to come up to July. And of course, you can be here in real time. But you could also be here many weeks, months, even years later. All readings are timeless and meant for you when they find you. So welcome whenever that is. This is a faded connection between you and I. You are here. Yeah, you're here when it's time to receive your messages. I'm really glad you found your way here. We're going to get started in a moment. I just want to mention that in the description below, you'll find all the decks that come in. Also, the tarotcloset.com and, of course, all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person. It's the death card in reverse Aries. It's the three of cups in reverse too. So there's no communication going on here right now. It's very stuck. This is not, this is actually, yeah, this isn't emotional. So this is very clearly a no contact and or in separation reading. Who is afraid to change here and come on top of that? Four of Wands. So for some of you, this was a person, wow, that you had, well, Obviously, we can see it's soulmate energy. For some of you, this is your twin flame. It's not for everybody. You might have been married to this person. There is an energy for some of you of separation, divorce, but breakup energy as well as really just no contact and no communication. You can see that here. It's in the upright. And it's also tatty corner to the three of cups in reverse. And for me, this is the lack of communication here or possibly some communication that really was very emotional and hurtful. And we can see that also in the tower energy in reverse. So somebody not being honest and not wanting to deal with some things here. Yeah, their ego comes in pretty strong as well. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. We're going to bring in more, but I just wanted to finish what I was saying. <laughs> because sometimes the readings come down so fast that... I don't get to finish. So I just wanted to tell you that all the readings are below and remember to take what resonates and let the rest go. And I would be really grateful if you like today's reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. This really helps to keep the channel going. So thank you so much. Okay, the lover's card as well. We see it's the lack of communication between you. And this is someone you love, Aries. That also loves you. This is Gemini energy, of course, Venus energy. And it's Archangel Raphael healing what's broken and helping to, well, yeah, bring happiness. Archangel Raphael just wants everybody to be happy. Is this an unexpected love offer coming in? Are you coming together? We need more information. We can see that the separation and for sure the lack of communication or some communication that went on here has been, is really painful. We see where your person's energy is the strongest, Aries. You're someone, your specific person. Maybe it's somebody even popping up for you now that they are having trouble moving forward. It's a hot and cold energy, but it's also somebody who's not ready. What are they not ready for? The next step? Is this somebody for some of you that's in another connection? Maybe, maybe. In any case, there is a fear of, well, there's a fear of change here. Yeah, there's kind of an, this person is, I feel kind of, a, kind of a lot of oppressed by their ego as well. Maybe they're, yeah, maybe something else here too. Let's see, it could be, this is telling us what's going on with them. It's not going to be for everyone that there is a third party, but there might be, okay? This is Venus and Aries energy. However, this is in the upright, and this is 
reunion energy as well. It's coming back together. For some of you, there are friends and family around this energy. And this is soulmate coming in. And when I talk about, I want to say homecoming, but when I talk about homecoming, I want to tell you that it can be, yeah, into an actual dwelling, but it can be city, state, country. But it's also coming, I feel, back into the connection. And did something go on here? I mean, it's the Tower card, it's in reverse, which telling, is telling us that it might be that it was in the upright at some point. Of course, it's a major arcana. And it's Mars energy. It's the planet of aggression, action, passion. It's bringing in Aries and Scorpio energy. The beginning and the end, you know, trying to hold it together here. Yeah, look at that. It's a volcano with this very long house with the tower on top of it. Okay, interesting. Has somebody been, is there an energy of somebody moving on? I'm wondering if you're feeling that a little, I'm feeling it come through. Let's see though. I wanna look underneath the deck. It's the three of pentacles, okay. So this is really clear that communication is, well, yeah, I mean, it's always important, isn't it? But it's coming through in, in your reading today, Aries. This is Mars and Capricorn energy. And that Mars energy too, here with the tower in reverse, is telling me that the communication has not been good for those of you that are in a situation where you're able to communicate. A lot of you, this is no contact and or in separation, but something might have gone on here in the communication. And it does come through some lack of honesty. So what is that? Clarity? So it, does it involve other people, places, things? What is it? But this is a collaborative energy for me. It's a, well, here's the thing. If you're building, the, if the three, if you're, what you're, this is building the three of pentacles, as you can see. And it's interesting because it's actually bringing in the five of pentacles in some ways for me. If you see these, the flower here as, as the pentacles. And that's some loss around this connection, which we also know. And that's Mercury and Taurus energy, which is communication. Once this is built, it's a flower. It's red as well. It's growth. It's fast growth. And it's, well, yeah, it's building the pentacles together. Because if one person is not communicating and listening, look, she's trying to talk to this bird holding a brick looking this way. This bird's holding a nail looking this way. If they're not communicating here, then these bricks, this flower, for some of you, this reunion energy, and also telling us what went on in the connection, it's not going to be complete. So this is about communication. If somebody's saying, yeah, yeah, I hear you, but they're not really listening and the brick doesn't get put down properly, it's going to affect the connection. Communication is definitely, is a really big issue here, I wanna say, and it can be also somebody who's just not wanting to be honest and not wanting to deal with things. Can it be too that somebody here might be, this double energy is coming in, Capricorn, Saturn energy of maybe somebody here also in the, in the connection that has some sort of addiction. Okay, it's not going to be for everybody. So the chariot card is in reverse. Look, the high priestess is in reverse. Whew. Yeah, Aries. Aries, what on earth? Okay. <laughs> Look what's coming in here. And I'm hearing it. So already that's so fast to get your overall energy. A lot of times it never comes or comes really late. Can also be a love message card, which means it's going to reveal what's going on under here. The seven of wands in reverse. Interesting. So this might be you here feeling like you might not stick around. And that energy came through that somebody's thinking about it. Maybe you've already begun that. So we'll we'll dive into it some more as we move along. It's Mars and Leo energy. And it's connected, obviously, to the Tower card here. So we can see that the King of Wands is not ready to move, <laughs> quite literally. It's the Chariot card in reverse. Cancer and energy, the Moon energy. Despite having the truth and, and having some clarity, they're not bringing it forward. It's also connecting directly with the communication. And that's what's going on here. The King of Swords, look at this beautiful card. It's the Divine Feminine energy because 
in this deck, there's a, a divine feminine and a divine masculine um, energy with the cards. The king of swords is Gemini and Mercury. And of course, Gemini is all about communication. Mercury is about communication. It's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. It's oftentimes connected to reading and writing, so it can be they're not responding to a message, okay? Or they're, yeah, they're trying to write one, they've unsent it, whatever. There's a little bit of, well, yeah, there's some spinning energy in terms of a message here. But it's also communication, and we know that, and we see it's not moving. They're not ready to. They're blocked, it's the high priestess. It's cancer and energy. It's divine feminine energy. Why are they not trusting themselves and moving forward? They're afraid of some change here. What is it? Is it, with, is it within, within their life? Maybe. But I also feel like it's attached to their ego. We see that in the death card. And yeah, having to communicate and be honest is going to change some things because we can see the communication here. It's in the upright. You know, and I do feel that at some point, obviously it was going on. It's right next to the lover's card. But we see with the magician in reverse and the three of cups in reverse that there may have been some communication that was not clear, some communication that was conflicting, some communication that was difficult. Maybe some things were said because we see that in the three of cups. It's an emotional either an emotional conversation or message that took place, or it's simply the lack of communication connecting us right here. I mean, the bird is looking off with the nail, actually looking here at the king of swords in reverse. Interesting. And the magician in reverse. The magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, the love and the friendship. Look, holding on here to the swan. Look at that. Look at that. I just realized that too. And the Queen of Swords is sitting in the swan and we have the Magician here in reverse. So not accessing all the resources, the clarity in the relationship, the communication, the truth, respecting the love and the friendship, the commitment energy, the physical relationship and all the practicalities, the wand energy, the energy of love, leading with the heart as, as well as taking action and doing what needs to be done, which we see is the truth. It's all in reverse here. It's the swan here in the, the magician's hat in reverse. This connection, the wand as well, the inspired action, you know, as above, so below. Gemini Virgo energy, Mercury energy too. That's lack of creating with source, I want to say, not really just kind of blocked. That's the blocked energy here in the High Priestess in reverse, but also not communicating in this connection and really unfulfilled potential, kind of wasting it. Connecting right here with the Queen of Swords, who's on top of this hot air balloon made from a building, rising above everything here, looking out and wanting the truth, waiting for the truth. I don't know if this is the truth coming. It feels it's more about waiting for it for me, you know, because the seven of wands look, yeah, because this is a giving energy. It's a reciprocal energy. The six of pentacles is showing itself. That's the moon and Taurus energy. And well, yeah, look, it's emotionally giving. It's communication. Okay. And that's what I wanted to say as well as the seven of wands is in reverse, which is an energy of being afraid to be hurt, okay, while you're waiting here. And it's in reverse, which is a feeling of kind of getting out of these bars if that's what you're feeling, okay? Because this is what you're waiting for, the king of swords to upright. And that, that's not a major arcana. So that's a day-to-day -day energy. And that could change. We need a lot more. The chariot card is, is pretty hard reverse for me right now. And that is putting the moon in reverse, of course. So they, they have the truth. They're just not bringing it. And you're also in the high priestess in reverse in some ways because this is a blocked, a little bit of clouded insight. Why is that? Because you love this person and they love you. So you're not gone. I feel you're still here, but you're waiting to hear from them. You're very clearly, look at this, in the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, you're both here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy. Wherever you find yourself in that respect, everybody has both, you know that, we know that. And 
Yeah, I mean, the Queen of Swords is in the upright saying, hey, I'm waiting for you to come here and communicate the truth, which is what's going on in the tower energy in the upright, which is in the reverse, which means they're not bringing the truth. They're not wanting to talk about something. Talk about this. They might be want, not wanting to talk about something that they're doing. And devil card energy, it's strange how that's coming through, but it is. And yeah, because this king of swords energy is an overabundance of divine masculine energy and they're holding back, as well as the king of wands. You know, they're just not ready. And there's very clearly they're coming, kind of fighting against some ego here, holding back how they feel. It's the king of cups. And here's the thing, it's not just about how they feel. With the King of Cups in reverse, it's Pisces energy. It's telling us that there's a lack of emotional availability. And yeah, that comes through because there's no communication here. There's no communication. There's some ego in the way. There's possibly some addictive behavior in the way. Maybe even some friends and family. Not for everybody, but it can be the case because it's also really strongly connecting here with the Four of Wands, which also brings that energy in, and the Hierophant card. So yeah, it's another thing, I, of course, I'm just seeing here. So this is, wow. I mean, really, <laughs> I'm wondering if we're going to see the Emperor and the Empress as well. Divine Masculine Energy, the Hierophant. This is the card of commitment for me. The commitment, what, to a person? can be mar marriage, legal, not legal, long-term energy, and can be spiritual too. This is obviously about the two of you. For some of you, again, there might be other connections. It's not for everyone. It might be real in particular for those of you on a twin flame journey. Either way, we can see that there are some expectations around this person. It's the Hierophant, it's Taurus energy. It's divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy here normally in the upright and holding on to that high priestess power of trusting yourself and and moving here. Look, because this is like the king of cups for me. Look, there's that ship here moving through in the upright, you know, all, all the coming through and, and well, yeah, with the empathy and seeing seeing things allowing themselves to own how they feel, to bring them to you. It's a really beautiful energy here. It's in reverse. We know that they're holding back. And it's this. It's the ship here too. It's <laughs> what I wanted to show you. And the High Priestess energy, and they're both in reverse here. And, well, yeah, that's that's connecting for me in, in some ways with this long-term energy that maybe they're afraid of. There's a, some expectations around here. It can be for, and that's what I wanted to say, that they could be pulling away from here because it's a really strong lack of communication, Aries. And for those of you on a twin flame journey, it's not going to be for everyone. You know, I just want to bring that through to you that, yeah, it's clear that there might be other connections going on. But the main message here, as we can see, is that they're holding back from communication and bringing the truth. And this is the divine masculine energy. And this owl holds the truth, that's the thing. It's connecting me to the fifth chakra, which is the truth, which is what you want here in the Queen of Swords energy. So the other thing too, Aries, is I feel like your communication has normally been quite, quite good, at least it was at some point which is maybe why you're still sitting up here waiting to see when they're coming. Gosh. And it, I wanted to say to you too, for some of you, it can be that, well, yeah, there's cultural, religious differences. There's maybe somebody in their ear or even somebody in their life. There's also some ego here and possibly some addictions, but are they aware they have wasted the resources of the magician because this is also saying that there was a really big opportunity here and that got kind of thrown away and is that here right now let's see some more that six of pentacles energy let's see what's coming in with that because that's a very giving energy it's the moon in taurus 
And that Taurus energy does connect us with the Hierophant. For me, this is the truth coming in here. But, you know, it may, it may not come. We need to see more. But I see that you're waiting for it. The King of Swords in reverse. My, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> of course. How could I forget? We know this about this deck. There is a divine feminine and a divine masculine energy. And I hadn't quite really looked at the card yet. So we're going to look at it now. It's the King of Swords twice and the Queen of Swords. Massive abundance here of divine masculine energy because this divine feminine King of Swords is in reverse. So we're, we know that already. Look, threading her dress with the light. So illuminating everything that needs to be said, being clear, bringing in hope, bringing in the star energy, renewal. She's beautifying this dress. She's sort of making it, you know, taking almost like Queen of Pentacles energy, taking it to new heights. Interesting through communication. Look, the star is right above her crown here. A lot of star energy here. It's Aquarius energy, of course, and hope for renewal and clarity. So here's the thing. It's in reverse. So we know there's an over... Abundance of divine masculine energy. And it's also telling us, <laughs> interestingly enough, more of what we know for you too, that you're not communicating, but you're waiting. And then we have the divine masculine here. Look who the que queen of swords has sent out a messenger. One of these messengers has made it over here. And didn't this, did this come in reverse and it uprighted? I'm going to see this in editing, but I'll tell you, it's feeling upright for me now. It's a spinner. It's very much a spinner. I feel like this might have come in the reverse, and I turned it around to look. But it's also showing itself in the upright. So I'm going to put it back in reverse because I want to see what's under here with where the cards were, even though... <laughs> Had I looked when it turned, it's also what's meant to be. But I do want to see the King of Pentacles. Okay, so that's what they've been having trouble also coming forward with. This is not following through. This is somebody who's hot or cold. My gosh. And it's communication within this pentacle, within this connection. But it's also somebody who... Yeah, this is real clear. So are they coming in here? And I got to say to you... Maybe we're going to bring in another deck and see because this is a spinner for me. This is very much a spinner for me. I do feel like it's going to come back in. And even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because that's what I'm feeling. And it's connecting with the Six of Pentacles here. So do I feel like it coming back that they're coming in here to offer a commitment? I, I don't feel that they're coming in to offer a commitment, but I feel like it's an offering to talk about this. It's... Because it's strange. We have to see if they are going to get into their, they're going to be ready and get into their power. Because the Page of Swords, well, yeah, they're keeping an eye on you. But the Page of Swords is holding the truth. And the truth here today is a dandelion that's already been blown. And that's making a wish. They have their hand on their heart. They have figured some things out. It's page energy. So and it's, look, it's like a graduation. So somebody that's grown, we definitely need to get moving on another deck because I'm wondering if, yeah, if they're, they're starting to figure things out because look, there's the book. There's a book, the owl, the guardian of the night, inner transformations. Self-actualization, which also connects us with the lover's card. So it's figuring out a lot of things, getting this wisdom, getting the truth for themselves, but also I feel wanting to bring it. And what is that? I mean, we see the dandelion. That's making a wish, I feel, about you. Maybe that's why everybody is still here. Okay. So it's the. I'm going to put this down. We're going to talk about it, and I'm going to bring in another deck, Aries. It's the Four of Cups in the Upright. This is the Moon in Cancer. Have they tried coming in here before? Because I, I do feel a little bit of apathy here with you, and I'm sure, you know, the Three of Pentacles here, Caddy Connor with the Three of Cups, whatever went on in the communication before you is obviously something that was really hurtful. 
There's more of a powerful energy here with the Queen of Swords just rising above everything here, confidently balanced. And I just want to see, it almost looked like it was Earth, but it's not. In any case, she's surrounded by spirit here. And here there's an apathy coming through. But this is them coming in with an apologetic energy. They're holding the umbrella above you, wanting to... I mean, is it raining? I think so. It's lightly raining. They're wanting to come in here. They're just... I feel like they're having a hard time moving. It's really very clear. You can see it in the King of Wands, the Chariot. We see there's ego, but is there also... Are there also other people or things, location? cultural, religious differences, other people, maybe for some of you. Their ego too. Their ego too. You're waiting for a message. You normally have great communication, I feel, or at least you did at one point. And it's funny because the King of Swords eventually landed here in reverse, which is, we already know that. It is a spinner for me, uh, but I don't even remember anymore <laughs> how it was coming in. Okay, so we're going to stop here. I'm going to bring in another deck. Aries, let's see if there's any new insight, validations, anything, maybe bringing us more questions. <laughs> Sometimes things come in and it's like, what? where are you even going here? This is in German, as a lot of my decks are. I'm in Austria, as you know, but don't worry. You're not going to miss anything, and you'll probably know what it is, but I'll tell you as well. So we can have a little German lesson. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Okay, I'm hearing before that I need to move the energy. So let me move the energy. There's something particular that we need to see. Interesting. It's the Page of Pentacles. Did we see the Page of Pentacles here? In the upright. Okay. So they're not really, well, yeah, really sure how to come here. But it can be, it really is just what I thought. But it's interesting because it's the Page of Pentacles here. Because the King of Pentacles was revealing itself to me as possibly, no, that's too many, interesting, as possibly being in the upright and bringing in like a message regarding the connection. And that's what's coming through for me in the Page of Pentacles today. Look, there's the High Priestess now here in the upright. So we have... The Hierophant in the upright, the High Priestess in the upright, the High Priestess in reverse. So this is the, this is a spinner. This is very clearly a spinner and I do feel a decision to move forward here. We know that this has been, a, that there, you haven't been together. This is a no contact and or no communication. It's really, really clear. Taking a break. But this is really clear here, too, that there is a conversation coming, Aries, whether it's digitally, I want to say, or in person. They're coming unblocked here. They're coming unblocked. Yeah, because look what they're holding back. It's the King of Cups in reverse. Right there again. It's coming in again, but I want to show you this particular card. They look like they're sleeping here. Even in the upright. What a, what a weird energy. And it's really, look at the water. It's like, how could you be sleeping through all these emotions? Because it's the King of Cups, Pisces energy, master of emotions here. It's in reverse. And, well, yeah, it's, it's the lack of communication here. Okay. It's the world card coming in. The divine, divine timing. Soulmate energy. Obstacles, I feel, will be moved. This is somebody coming in and wanting to get closer to you, their soulmates. This lover's card here. <laughs> if I can get this out. Yeah. So, it did take one of those turns that eventually they're going to be ready to come in here and talk and it can lead to a lot more but i gotta tell you the thing about the universe energy today is it is coming in 
And there are life-changing decisions around here. We see it all over. The lover's card, together decisions. Decisions maybe that were made or that weren't made that obviously affected the connection because your person was blocked. Maybe you've been a little bit blocked because you're not sure what you wanted to do. I see everything clearing up for everybody in regard to this connection, in regard to what is the truth here, clarification, and making a decision to either come together and take this somewhere else or back where it was, whatever that means for you, or even close it out. You know, that's not <laughs> really how I want to say it, but it can be endings too. It's this energy of completing, completion, that's what I want to say, the future. So maybe that's why, I mean, the Queen of Swords is patient, but I also feel her anticipation. She's dressed beautifully in her feathers, interestingly enough, kind of at one here with everybody. And she's, so there's an honesty coming through from you that you're also really wanting from your person. The Queen of Swords is getting it out. Look, it's look, the Queen of Swords is looking right over here. They're just hiding underneath <laughs> the telescope. So she's even sending the messenger here, as you can see. So that, again, whether that, we, we saw it in the upright, so we know it's a spinner and it's a double whammy here that there is a lack of communication that you're just kind of waiting. You know, there's a patience to it. There's a disappointment for sure. But this is a decision between the two of you. What what are you doing? Is it just talking again? Is it coming together? Is it restoring a connection in terms of living together, marriage for some of you, dating again? Whatever it is, it's it feels really life-changing. And maybe that's why there's a the patience here too. Because you can see, you know, we do still see the Seven of Wands in reverse. So that hasn't escaped me. It can be that, you know, eventually she just comes down and says, all right. It's like it, it times out. Do you know what I mean? So there is a little bit of that energy here. Look, it's wanting to connect right here with the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Aries, you very clearly love each other. It's the Two of Cups. Cancer energy, also Venus energy. It's the planet of love right here in the water. Look next to each other, looking at each other, exchanging energy. This is someone you really love. And this can be for a lot of you that this is taking you back into your connection. Whether it's talking, whether it's moving in, dating. And for some of you, back into a marriage or to a marriage. Because this can be marriage proposals. You know, and we see here that this is a long term energy, this connection. So for some of you, it can feel that it's been long, you know, and maybe it's not chronologically, but it's also bringing in sun and Scorpio, six of cups energy for me for for, for some of you, because there is a feeling there is a feeling of long term energy. So it can be that it's in chronological years, but it can also just be the feeling that it's your person, you know, and we see that in the lover's card. We see that in the two of cups. Also, the world card, which, of course, is the universe card here. This can be. Yeah, this is, can be bringing something in to the connection. I'm wondering if we're going to see the ten of cups here. Blending families, possibly getting over some some complications that are because of family or family involvement. Introducing families. Wow. It's the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is somebody who's really struggling and overwhelmed. And maybe, maybe for those of you where there is another connection, that's what that's kind of yeah, some of the energy here. But this is also an inability to commit. This is Capricorn and Saturn energy, which is interesting because can it also be a decision between something? For some of you, there is an energy of some addictive behavior. It's not for everyone. I generally don't always bring that in. If it's coming in, it's come up so many times that I'm hearing from spirit that I need to bring it in for somebody. So that can also be what somebody's really committed to, something that they're having a hard time giving up and choosing choosing this connection. It's the five of wands. Yeah, so these are some obstacles and some challenges here still. And it can bring in some, I want to say, some rivalry 
energy, you know, other people. It's not going to be for everyone, but it's more Saturn energy, except that it's Saturn and Leo energy. Yeah, we're going to stop here at the Hangman Aries and bring in some channeled love messages and channeled song messages. It's the Hangman. This isn't surprising at all to me because this is a real period of uncertainty. I feel like, well, yeah, there are some power struggles, but this is somebody who's been indecisive, who hasn't been really doing anything. We know that the communication is has broken down. You're waiting for that. So what's the truth? Is it an actual lie? Is it how they feel? Is it just communication? It might not always be truth as, as in there was a lie. Do you know what I mean? It's also just about being really honest about everything here. And this is an only time will tell energy. This is an only time will tell energy because everybody I feel is in here working it out. And in particular with your person. And of course, this also brings us to a three, which is the divine, divine timing here. And when they come, this is big for me. There is some life-changing decisions here between the two of you because you still really love each other. Look at this. It's really very clear. For some of you too, there might be, I want to say, some other connections that might not be happy about this. It's almost like here in this energy, she's sort of looking like mine, <laughs> you know, because there is a little bit of rivalry coming through here. It's not going to be for everybody. But this is Archangel Raphael, you know, here to heal what's broken, to bring happiness and help with a new beginning, whatever that's going to mean for me. And you can see that it could be really a big deal. But it's a time will tell energy. It's bringing in, yeah, interesting. So temperance here in reverse is bringing in, lighting the way to the truth, Archangel Michael. And... Let me just move this here. Yeah, the angel for strength and protection and healing as well. Lighting the way literally to the truth here. But it's in reverse. Look, getting that strength. It's the strength coming through. Interesting too, I, is that an eagle? Because that's connecting us to Scorpio energy. Um, and that that's kind of tying into the king of cups even though that's pisces energy and this is sagittarius energy of yeah just really i feel deep emotions that are being held back but also something that's not being let go and this is in reverse so it really is a timing issue because there's some things here that spirit is sending down to you which i think you know controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't Everybody has free will here and also divine timing. Spirit has a plan in knowing that. And I have to say, it's a little bit of it's a little bit of disruptive energy too. But I'm not surprised by that because you can see there's a lot of love here, but there's some there's some blocks here that are pretty intense. So somebody here might be coming, it might be it's sort of a Impulsive energy, I want to say, with this, is there a question coming in? I don't know. But you can see here with the world card connecting here right with the two of cups and the high priestess that it's a trusting the, their energy now, trusting themselves and making a decision to come here toward you. I feel it's to bring the truth. Will you still be up there waiting is the question. You know, will you already be here in the seven of wands in reverse i want to show you yeah i want to show you well we know it's there okay look what it's bringing in so there's three things here that it just brought in i'm going to take them and it's leaving us here also look <laughs> oh my gosh so this is three times now that we've seen the king of swords this this is just this your person here today is obviously really loves you but is struggling with communication bringing the truth to you what is that 
because they're really wanting to. Again, Gemini, Mercury energy, it's in the upper right here. They're th they've been thinking for a long time, I feel, about what they want to say here. Are they sending messages and deleting them for some of you, unsending them? I don't know, but it's really, really strong, and I want to show you what else is going on. It's the Nine of Cups in reverse. Where did it go? This is how it came down. It's the Fool card, and it's the Hierophant. So there's the Hierophant again. So we have the High Priestess in reverse, the High Priestess in the upright. The Hierophant has come down twice now in the upright. So this is a really... This is about your connection, one. It's a card, again, of commitment and marriage. Long-term partnerships also telling us that it does need, some, really needs better communication. It's the truth as well. What is the truth for you? And, you know, help here, I want to say. But for some of you, this is also bringing in that there might be other connections. I know that's not for everybody. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Do I feel like that... Yeah, this is the this is the lack of abundance, the lack of wish fulfillment. I do for right now. I mean, you can see that right now, but it doesn't take away from the love. We can see that. It's just an energy of it not being right now, but you can see things. It might just be like that because the all the communication is spinning here. <laughs> and there's an impulsive energy as well. And it's the full card here too. It's Aquarius. It's the hero's journey. It's taking a chance. You know, look, just kind of looking up, la la la, at the sun, at what they want, the crown chakra here, and maybe stepping off into the, well, yeah, I mean, where are you going here? And this is the fool, the, you know, the very first card here. It's the beginning. It's Aquarius energy. It's Uranus energy. So it's starting without any baggage, you know, has has not, the fool here has not gone on the journey yet. So this is also telling me that should you be working something out here and wanting to come together, we know that in the hangman energy as well, that things really need to be worked out in order to not bring the baggage into the new connection. Aries. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Okay. What do you want to say to Aries, to your Aries? Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. You are my favorite person. Yeah. I just want to look at that universe card as well you know by the way leo scorpio taurus and aquarius they're fixed signs they don't really like change so it's both the ego but it's also something in their life something or someone that's just really clear they love you but the hierophant energy is really strong this divine masculine energy within your commitment what is keeping them but also possibly other well yeah other other commitments. It can be other. Uh, uh, can be another person, people, family of origin, religious differences, cultural differences. There's, it's, but it's really strong here. You are my other half. Both soulmate energy here, twin flame energy. If you're on a twin flame journey, I know that's not for everybody. You are my favorite person. You are my other half. Look at that. It's all kind of coming here around. The Two of Cups and the Lover's card. I am making a plan to come to you. Yeah, this is really strong for me. It's just, a, it's a little scattered energy, you know? Is this fool? Because the fool's just kind of jumping off here, <laughs> you know? But that's also the King of Wands in energy for me, too. They're not ready, but they're still hot and cold. There's some impulsive energy here today. It's really hard living without you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. My beloved. Do you miss me the way I miss you? Look at that. 
this king of swords here, that crown chakra right behind them. Look, the source. They've been thinking for a long time what they want to say. Their eyes are open now. Look at that. Third eye <laughs> here on their, on their, why am I suddenly drawing a blank? <laughs> their uh, armor. Okay. You've been thinking for a long time. We have three king of swords here, you know, about being honest with you. How much they love you, Aries. They love you a lot, but there might be something going on in their life. It's that energy of um, our flame of love will burn forever. It's that energy of I wish I could tell you what's going on in my life feeling. Our meeting was no accident. Serendipity. I long for you. Why is this going here in reverse so fast? Can you forgive me? That's, that's the Four of Cups energy here. Look, is there a conversation you've already had too? Or maybe, the, oh, obviously that's going to maybe come up here as well. That was, this was, you don't really, yeah, that maybe was something they're telling you they can't do. I am so sorry. Can you forgive me? I am so sorry. My gosh, can you forgive me? I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Our love is eternal. My gosh. Okay. We are a tethered connection. This is bringing in devil card energy. I'm turning it around now. So whatever is going on in that devil energy, that three of cups in reverse was bringing that in for me today. You know, is it another, is it another person life? What is it? Possibly addiction that whatever's it's affecting both of you obviously the devil card and the lovers card are, are really connected it's the shadow work from the lovers is what i want to say i thought that i knew how to love until i met you sorry king of swords <laughs> serendipity a lot of that down here too i'm building up the strength and courage to contact you yeah this would be, I would say, if I could reach here into all the King of Swords, I would. It's clear. We know that. It's a massive spinner. Maybe, mess, maybe there has already been contact, but messages in and out or writing or just trying to get the message to you. It's extremely clear. This is the last one. And we're going to bring in some song messages, Aries. Forever is a long time but I wouldn't mind spending it by your side. That universe card, the world card is there. So is this the beginning of, is this a new beginning or is this the beginning of the end for some of you? It's a big deal. And I, it feels really heartbreaking because you can see how much love is here. I mean, it's really clear. And they're kind of bombarding me with love messages too, <laughs> which is not always the case. And they're all very much the same theme here. Okay. Something to say song messages. It can be that your song or songs are coming down for, relevant to the connection or even just to you. The sentiment in the song, sometimes songs come down that you don't know or like. That's okay too. It's about the message and if you ever feel like it's not mine or you feel like you're sending it to your person and this is already coming off, then you are. That's how it goes. Name, location, a, a, a artist. It could be things that trigger you, you know, where you feel like you're... Yeah, that you're going to know it's your message. So messages from their higher self through channeled song. I'll wake you from slumber. You fall so hard, twin. We're in flames. We've gone too far, flame twin Nora Jones. It's really clear for twin flames here. This is yours. You are here today, twin flames. It's not for everybody. I know that, but I will always bring it through. I'm just trying to decide where to put it. Things start to get covered. This is wanting to come. We are luck. We are fate. Yes. The Golden State, John Doe. So a little California connection for those of you in California. Okay. Let's do some more channeling. Nope. There's too many there. That's yours. I could see that. So is that. 
and I believe in love, and I know that you do too, and I believe in some kind of path that we can walk down, me and you, into my arms in a cave in the bad seeds. Yeah, there's a lot of hope here still, I feel. There's sadness around this disconnection. And what is that third party for you, you know? Aside from the fact that they're not communicating also. I mean, that's a big deal. And there's a little bit of ego here. Some power struggles also in the way of communication. You're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. John Travolta, Livin' Newton, John. This is a conversation between the two of you. This is the lover's card today in the Two of Cups. Look at this. You're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. It's communication here between you. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. My boo, Alicia Keys and Usher. I just allow a fragment of your life to wander free, but losing everything is like the sun going down on me. Don't let the sun go down on me, Elton John. This is also yours. Okay, that brought in. Is that coming in? No, it's not ours. Okay, <laughs> we're going to look at these in a moment, but we've got to look at these first. The very thought of you, and I forget to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. The very thought of you, written by Ray Noble and recorded by many. You are, it's a little bit smeared here, you are the flame in my heart. You light my way in the dark. You are the ultimate star. I belong to you, Lenny Kravitz. Up here with the star energy, lots of star energy here also in all the King of Swords cards are the two here in are this particular deck. They're buried now. Through the storm, we reach the shore. You give it all, but I want more. And I'm waiting for you, with or without you, you too. So it's kind of like if you don't bring the truth, if you're not honest, then yeah, it's... I'm maybe coming down from here for lack of a, of a more articulate way to say that. <laughs> okay, so these are the last two. It's a lot of messages here today. I've been alone with you inside my mind, and in my dreams I've kissed your lips a thousand times. Hello, Lionel Richie. I've had enough of danger and people on the streets. I'm looking out for angels, just trying to find some peace. Now I think it's time that you let me know. So if you love me, say you love me. But if you don't, just let me go. One more try, George Michael. This is really goosebumpy. This is the song for you to hear today. You know, if you're, this is the song of your reading, I want to say. It's the message. It's your reading. It's, it's the last message today. It's the last song message, but it's the last card at all. If you love me, say you love me. If you don't, just let me go. That's the Seven of Wands in reverse there, which is right at the edge, you know, really close to your person's energy. Because we see it. Okay. Aries, that's your reading today. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. I'm wishing you love and light and all and all things good. Have a beautiful day. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading. And of course, subscribe to the Tarot Closet. Watching readings, liking them, sharing them if you're inspired to do so. These are things that really help the channel grow. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you at another reading. Bye.